All right, my meeting got canceled. So I'm back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling stressed out uh, during that taping, which probably didn't help anything because I still get anxiety when I'm filming and uh, you know, something like that happens. But I just wanted to do a follow-up video um, now that I've had time to uh, deal with the pack off camera. Um, <laughs> but now we are uh, in a much calmer state. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys got to tune into the first one, but that was pretty crazy. Um, I did check Chevy thoroughly, and she did have one little scratch, but to me, I was worried there might be more. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just, uh, again, having to uh, re-figure out how we deal with things in the pack because I now have two matured females. Right, Logan? Yeah. What do you think about that? You like having two girls or is it too much? Hmm? What do you think? It's good. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but now the energy is much calmer, right? And it's hard for me and that's why I like uh, filming because realizing uh, that I have PTSD this year, everything is amplified for me. So when I go back and watch it on video, it's actually not as bad as it felt like in person, as weird as that is. Um, but yeah. So the girls are just out hanging around and we do not give them free access of this space. Um, this is only something that we exercise them in. But I just wanted to do a follow-up to show that the high energy typically only happens with one episode a day. But it's still something that I would love your guys' feedback on, you know, on, uh, you know, what, what we need to do. And if that means rehoming one of the dogs, uh, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Logan's discovered there's something in the pool. He has to check it out. What do you see, bud? That's the new chlorine tab holder. Good boy. Safe? But yeah, much better energy now. So, just wanted to let you guys know that everything is good, but it is a little bit too intense for my liking. Even though I do think they should be allowed to play and sort it out. Um, I don't know. So you don't have any missing fur. You don't have any scratches, because Chevy plays nice. But Phoenix here plays like she's going to kill you and eat you for breakfast. Don't you? And Chevy is losing so much fur. See, if you look, she's got spots. Now, under her neck is where there's the most scratches. Oh yeah, she does. You do have an injury, buddy. And so, I don't know what to think, because she is annoying and she does need to be corrected. But, is that too harsh of a correction?
Phoenix has no spots on her, so Chevy will fight back, but she's not causing any issues. But Chevy loves to play with her mom and hang out with her mom. So, Logan, what do you see? What do you think we should do? Whereas, uh, well, all of our male pups, I think, took after Logan. Just chill, big. Yeah, thank you for adding a comment. And I'll call you JG. I think, um... Yeah, if you look at our first live video, um, it got intense. And I was able to maintain my energy for the most part, but I started to get nervous. Um, and here they go. Ask and you shall receive. The problem that I'm having is Chevy is playing rough, but not making contact to break Phoenix's skin. Phoenix, and I apologize, it's hard to see them in the shadows. Phoenix is uh, mouthing Chevy and holding on to Chevy uh, to the point of breaking skin. And so Chevy has now lost quite a bit of fur. And you'll see Phoenix is a stalker. Chevy initiates it and Phoenix initiates it. They're much calmer because they've already been able to have at it. Oh, how do I go back? Yeah, my main concern is I don't want Chevy to get injured. I am already seeing some cuts. Nothing too serious, but scratches for sure. So, it just uh, makes me a little bit nervous. But you see, look, Chevy is annoying her mom. And I'm not gonna interfere for the sake of showing you guys their natural, I don't know what's going on, you can't see. Hold on. Yeah, I, I agree with what you guys are commenting. Honestly, what I think my next steps are is uh, I really am going to build a, an obedience course. Oh, and I don't know if you could see it, but you could see how much Chevy just, or Phoenix holds on. See? She holds on. Ah, 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 ah. Logan, come. And now it's escalated. Oh God, I can't even watch. I'm gonna walk away. Uh oh! Come here. Now that was really bad. And so I'm either gonna have to figure, I really think, in. In. Uh-uh. Chevy, come. Uh-oh. Chevy, come. Out. Good. Good girl. So that was a real fight, guys. Um, and I feel like we've just been set back two months. Um, and I really don't have a lot of time during the day with them. I have up to two hours. So, and if we have a second litter, it's only gonna intensify. I know I'm able to stop it, but, and it only happens when I'm out. So, I think what I was saying before you guys gave an example of an actual fight, are you injured? 
She went at you rough, and then you went rough. So I've separated them now, so I can actually talk. But I think I need to set up an obstacle course and an agility course and work them that way instead of letting them out in the yard together. Because it doesn't happen in their space here. They have a little dog run there, um, which they can go at any time. They have the, you know, big area here is where they go nuts and they enjoy it. I have tried this submissive posture, but it doesn't fit my personality, and a lot of trainers that I work with don't recommend it um, unless it's an absolute necessity. So, um, you could see Chevy has some scratches now. But I do think I can do some stuff like have some e-collars on, um, keep some long leashes. Your eye is injured. Oh, she gave you a cocoa. Did she? She bit your upper eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely believe in the, the get down command. And we'll have to try it out. where they, you know, go down. Uh, which one, Chevy or Phoenix? The girls don't always listen to me, but the guys do. I mean, the, Logan does. So Logan has a good recall, but... Yeah, Chevy will, but she actually doesn't listen to me right away at all times. But you could see she has a gash on her upper eye. <sighs> oh yeah, she, she will let me do it. But it's just not part of my personality. Shut down. Uh-oh, down. See, because we practice tricks like this, but I'm not a militant style. That was your eye. It's okay. Okay, good. But she is very mouthy. And I'm running out of battery, so unfortunately I'm going to have to cut this off, but I will, uh, what it is that you ran inside? No, I ran away to get my energy away from them. Instead of yelling, I find that walking away when I get upset de-escalates the dogs. So that's what I do. But yeah, my phone is dying. Um, I'll have a, uh updated uh, video of this and I'll definitely be in the comments because this is uh, something that happened the other day once um, when I introduced some new toys um, but it's never happened before but you know this is what we were all waiting for is what's going to happen when they get older and it intensifies so now we're here so we can definitely figure this out together but I will um, be in the comments if you guys have any questions. And yeah, Phoenix is way smaller than Chevy. So she's doing what she can to maintain her alpha status.